What's going on guys? In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up the PSP emulator on Android called PPSSPP. The phone I will be using is a Samsung Galaxy S22 Plus paired with the G8 Galileo GameSir controller. Now, this app is available in the Play Store, but I will not be downloading the Play Store version simply because there's been too many emulators being pulled from the Play Store lately. And if it gets pulled, you won't have it on your phone. So instead, we're gonna go to the actual website. So we're gonna go ahead and head on over to ppsspp.org. Link to this page is in the description. Once you are here, go ahead and click on Downloads. Scroll down until you see Android. Now, one thing that has me worried about this app is that they offer a paid version, and that is PPSSPP Gold, which basically gives you no extra features. Instead, it's just a donation to the creators. I think they should remove this. That's just my opinion. So the one we wanna download is down here, APK for Android. This way, if anything happens to the Google Play version, we will still have our emulator on our phone. Now it's going to say file might be harmful, but it's not. You have nothing to worry about. Go ahead and download anyway. And open. Do you want to install this app? Install. App installed. Open. Choose where to keep PSP data. Go ahead and leave create or choose a PSP folder. Okay. Now you can choose an existing folder on your phone or you can create a new folder. I'm gonna create a new folder. You can call it whatever you like. I'm just gonna call it PSP. And then hit use this folder. Allow PPSSPP to access files in PSP, allow. Then it's gonna show that folder as my primary folder, okay. Okay, now the first thing we're gonna do is upload our PSP games. Now I cannot tell you where to get PSP ROMs, but do a Google search, they are not that hard to find. But once you have them downloaded, we need to extract our ROMs. So I have created a folder on my phone called PSP games right here. And here are my games that need to be extracted. So my phone has a built-in extractor, so I do not need to download an app to extract files. So all I need to do is hold on the file, go down to more and extract and hit extract. Now I have my extracted file. I can delete the seven zip file. Just hold on it and delete. If your phone does not have a built-in extractor, then you can download this app here, 7-Zipper File Explorer from the Play Store. It's free to use and it will extract all of your ROMs. And your ROMs must be extracted to be visible within PPSSPP. Back over on the emulator, let's go up to Browse. It's gonna automatically take you to that folder that we created earlier that I called PSP. That is not where my games are. To access folders on your phone, hit the name of your phone over here to the left. And now I'm gonna scroll down and find that PSP games folder that I created right here. There are my games, use this folder, allow. And if I want to change the way my games are displayed on my home screen, if you hit right here, it'll change your games to a list view. Now let's go over to settings over here to the right. For the back end, I prefer to leave it on Vulkan. I get the best performance with this, but if you are having any performance issues with this emulator, then come back here and the first thing you need to do is change your back end to OpenGL and see if that improves your performance. If not, then change it back to Vulkan. Rendering resolution, this really depends on how powerful your phone is. You can up this all the way to 10 times, which you would need a pretty powerful phone to make that happen. If you upscale too much and your phone can't handle it, the game will be lagging, so just come back here and try lowering the resolution. I'm gonna do four times at 1080p. Then it's gonna ask you for the native device resolution. Just select the same thing. So I'm gonna do four times 1080p. Leave VSync and full screen checked. 
Scroll down and under texture filtering, you will see an isotropic filtering. This setting will smooth out your textures in game. Once again, you don't really want to overdo it. I'm going to go four times and leave your texture filtering on auto. And all the way at the bottom, you will see overlay information. This is optional. You can turn on show FPS counter so you can see how your games are really performing while playing. Now over to the left, let's go to controls. Now let's go up to control mapping. And since I'm going to be using a controller with my phone, all I need to do is go to auto configure. And it will show the name of my controller, which is a GameSir G8. All you need to do is tap where it says the name of your controller. And that controller has now been auto configured. Now, if we go up to standard PSP controls, then you have the option to change any of these buttons around that you may not be happy with. Now down here under on-screen touch controls, I want to turn off on-screen touch controls. This way it doesn't show the buttons while I'm gaming. Now, if you are going to be using on-screen touch controls, then you can go to edit touch control layout, and this will allow you to move the buttons around to wherever you want to make them comfortable while using touchscreen. Now we can go ahead and load up a game, and I'll do God of War goes to Sparta. Thank you guys for watching i hope this video was helpful if it was make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already and i will catch you in the next one peace